Okay guys, so it's about 11 o'clock right now. So this is the first time I ever got a phone call to my room for them to like notify me that it's flooding and I need to move my scooter. We're gonna go outside and see if I can even drive my scooter. And I don't have a hat on for a reason and I have a feeling we're gonna get wet. I'm prepared to get wet, so let's go see. <laughs> I've never had a phone call telling me to come down here. We're gonna go check it out. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, that's my bike right there. I gotta go get it. <laughs> okay. Bro. This is insane. <laughs> I didn't make it. I did not make it. I can feel my scooter start bogging out hella bad. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at that guy go, dude. Dude. Holy fuck. How we doing? <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm from Canada. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> They're trying to hail a cab. No one's picking them up. They're like 10 kilometers away from the hotel right now. They got a ride. They got a ride. <laughs> That's so funny. Peace out! <laughs> After my excitement has cooled down here a little bit and I started to like settle into what everyone else is kind of dealing with, which is this isn't a good thing. I apologize for my smile and my upbeat attitude at the beginning because I didn't understand that this is kind of a really shitty deal for a lot of the locals here in the local community. This is something I've never seen before, like in Batong, but it happened in like an hour. This happened in like an hour, hour and a half, boom, flooding everywhere. So for me, I was like, I think I can drive down this road for probably a few minutes. My goal was to go and just buy like a joint. I wanted to buy a joint tonight and then just listen to the rain. And then once I got halfway down this road, this is uh, third road, third road in Batong. This sucks. This sucks for a lot of people. My bike started to bog out a little bit because there's so much water around the tires and the chain and what, whatever that, yeah, my bike was slowing down. So I pulled in here. Today is November 15th, 15th today, November 15th. Yeah, just crazy, dude. I didn't know this would happen like this fast. Like I knew it happened. It's been happening in the last month, but now, obviously like the locals here are pretty prepared for this kind of stuff as it's been happening. So a lot of places are sandbagged up at the entrance. People probably stranded at a lot of bars as it is pretty late right now. I think it's about 11 o'clock, 11.30. Yeah, this is the Jung, Jung Saklan Mall, Jung Saklan Mall, Big C. Enough of the sad shit. It is sad, but, but I'm still gonna complete the mission. I'm gonna go walk through the water I still gotta buy a joint. <laughs> so that's actually the whole reason why I came outside and went for this crazy drive is I thought I'm going to drive down to my normal place where I buy a joint and bring them a little bit of business in this crazy weather. As you can see, like this is the mall. They got shit bagged off. Some people where it got too deep or wherever their cars have broken down, I'll show you. Check this out. This is like, I'm walking in, I'm walking in water. Look at this. So yeah, some cars didn't make it. Prize my scooter made it as far as it did. Hey, welcome to Thailand. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Beautiful, sunny Thailand. <laughs> sunny Thailand, good weather. <laughs> See, you can tell some guys are still in, they're in high spirits about it because it's been happening so much in the last month and a half. Look at these guys. So 
Well, that's what I was doing. But when I go back, I'm gonna have to try to stay in the middle of the road, wait for no cars, and just hope for the best. And every Thai person I walk by right now, they're in pretty good high spirits. Look, these people are here, they're fucking working still. Work never stops, they're still working on that McDonald's. He is, if you're on a motorbike, you gotta stay in the middle of the road, but then when the trucks go by, they cause like this tidal wave and it washes all the bikes off and it fills their engine with water. All right, I'm getting close to the weed shop. <laughs> We'll be there in a few minutes. Okay. This is what I came for. <laughs> I walk, I walk all the way for this. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's not good. Okay. Mission accomplished. I got what I came for. Goddamn. Well, <laughs> oh, that guy's in a good mood. <laughs> Nobody really seems that upset. Kind of like a winter storm in Canada. We know how to deal with it, but it's never like the best thing, right? But they seem pretty, pretty climatized to this scenario. And that's the Banzan night market. That's where I made my video the other day. That's kind of a safe zone right now, but everywhere else is totally screwed. Anyways, I got my joint. Now I just gotta get back to my scooter. Then hopefully I can drive back through the water and make it to my hotel. Well, if he can do it, I can do it. I can't film when I go, but Wish me luck. <laughs> Massage? <laughs> we got some ground now. Look at that. Look at that. We're good. Look at that. So I was wrong. I can record and drive. Just a little dangerous, but I risk it for you guys all the time. Oh, what's that? Oh, dude. Okay, so I made it, dude. I don't know how the hell I made it back. right up to my shins when I was driving the scooter over that way near the mall and stuff. It's kind of toned down it stopped raining so it's kind of toned down a little bit you can drive in the middle of the road now if you got a bike it's not safe there's literally potholes there's um manholes that have lifted their lids up and there's big holes in the middle of the road it's crazy absolutely crazy police getting a ride damn dude police are in the back of a random truck Okay guys, I don't know what to make of that experience. I was planning to just make a quick few Instagram stories and then I realized that this was gonna be a bit more of an adventure. So total intention was to just go buy one of these. I got it. I'm completely soaked head to toe and I hope everyone's safe. Hope no one got any other stuff damaged because this is, uh, yeah, I didn't think it'd be that crazy. I thought it would just be like five, six inches across the road. Nah, they're just like, there's like two or an almost like two and a half feet of water in some places. So I hope everyone's safe. I gotta go buy food at 7-Eleven because there's definitely no delivery tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.